What's up you guys? It's Shemaine here. Welcome back to my channel. So I am going to just be going through a quick eyebrow tutorial. I'm just going to get right into it. Um, here are the items that I'm going to be using on my brows. So I'm using an angle brush, my NYX eyebrow gel, and that is in the shade Espresso, along with this Lash and Brow Duo by e.l.f. So here I am just taking a spoolie and I am brushing both my brows up. And um, what I like to do for myself is I like to clean any unwanted hairs um, from underneath my eye eyebrows. So I am just taking my tweezers and I'm just cleaning up underneath there. I mean, if you would prefer a razor, that's totally up to your preference. So I'm just taking those tweezers and doing that. All right, so getting right into it. So I'm taking that angle brush with very, very little product on that brush. And um, you wanna make sure that the angle brush is pretty sharp. It's pretty um, precise at the ends of it. So what I'm doing is just taking that product and I am outlining the natural portion of my eyebrow. I'm not taking it any lower than my natural brow um, shape. So after I do that, then I do take that spoolie and brush my hair down. So when I do that, because as you can see, naturally my eyebrows are very, very thin, I am going to now start to create my arch. So um, as you can see here, I am still following the natural thickness of my brow and I start to create that shape on the top portion so as you can see like I said I don't have much of an arch just because my brows are just naturally thin so I am um, taking that brow gel and as you can see there I am creating an arch so I'm not taking it too too high I don't want them too thick so I am just dragging that outwards and then starting to create my arch towards the end of my brow All right, so next I am just filling in any sparse areas on my brows. So I'm also cleaning up on the top portion where I did create the arch, so you'll be actually seeing me do that right now. Um, so you definitely wanna be careful with this part. You don't wanna be too heavy on the hand. I am definitely guilty um, of doing that and just making them a little too dark. So what I'm doing is just using very short strokes when I am applying and filling in that product. So I am, you know, getting a little bit lighter on the hand as I move towards the front of my brow. Obviously you don't want that boxy brow look. Um, so I am just brushing my brows up again. And I am just going to continue to fill that in. So here again, you just see me using very short strokes, hair-like strokes, and I am just applying um, more of that product and then filling that in to my liking. All right, so moving to the front portion of my brow. Again, we don't want that boxy brow look that you've seen. Um, I know I've definitely seen it before too. So what I'm gonna do is just take that product and I am just pushing the product up in hair-like strokes um, towards the front of the brow. So I know right now it does look a little boxy, but we are going to blend that out as um, we go on. So you fill that in to your liking. So here is when I'm going to blend out that product. So I am taking the spoolie and as you can see, I am brushing that product forward. So to prevent, um, you know, that boxy look, you want to make sure you blend out very, very well um, towards the front of your brow. So if I feel like in some areas of my brow I applied a little too much product, I am just taking that spoolie and very lightly brushing some of that product out. Um, so that is actually pretty much it for the brows. Again, you just see me brushing forward a little bit more. I mean, I'm just kind of brushing to get the um, faded gradient effect um, to my personal liking. So here I'm going back in with that same brush and some more product and I am just creating more hair like strokes in the front of my brow kind of cleaning up over top of my brow again so you know definitely take your time you don't have to get it right on the first try um, but for my ladies out there please remember your brows are cousins they are not twins so you know sometimes it might not be the easiest to get your brows uh, to look exactly the same or identical don't worry 
Um, so actually what I'm doing here is I am taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer that is in the shade Medium Beige with a flat synthetic brush that is by e.l.f. And then I'm just going to um, clean up underneath my brows. So I actually was prepping my eyelids and my eyebrows for a makeup look. I'll be sure to link that down below. Um, so here I am just applying some concealer all over my lid. You actually do not have to do that if you are just cleaning up under your brow and you're not going to do anything else to your lid space, then just apply a little bit of concealer underneath the brow. Now, um, I typically don't do this on a normal a normal basis, which is uh, clean up with concealer over top of my brow, but I just want to show um, you that in the event that you do um, make them a little too thick or you happen to make any mistakes when creating your arch over top of your brow, that you can just use a little bit of concealer and clean that up as well. And so what I'm doing here is I am just taking a um, fluffy blending brush that is by Morphe and I am blending all of that concealer out. This is key you guys, you definitely don't want a white cast or a halo over your brows or underneath your brows. So I am blending that concealer out very very well. Um, so do not forget that step, it's very important. And so yeah, I mean that is pretty much it. Now, when I am using concealer on my face, you definitely want to make sure you set that with the powder so that concealer does not move. So I am taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, and I'm using that same brush, and I am just setting all the places that I applied that concealer. So um, that's actually what you see me do here, and I am just blending out all of that powder on my face. But you guys, that is actually it for the, prow the brows. I really, really hope this helped you guys um, please if you have any questions um, don't forget to leave those down below and then you guys cannot forget to set that all in place so I am just taking that clear brow gel by elf that is just two dollars you guys you can't beat that and I am just setting my brows in place so that is a little before and after and so yeah you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe this is actually the finished product of the makeup look that I did create um, I will have that link down below um, but you guys thank you so so much for watching bye